Mr. President, polluted water is a very big problem, not just for India, but for the entire world, and in particular for poor and developing countries. In order to address this challenge in India, we are carrying out a very big campaign to ensure that piped clean water reaches over 170 million homes. Reputed institutions of the world have said that for the development of any country, people must have property rights to their home and land. That is, ownership records are a must. In the most developed countries, there are a large number of people who do not have property rights to their land and homes. Today, we are using drones in India to map over 600,000 villages. And by doing so, we are giving people their digital records of their homes and land. These digital records not only reduce property disputes, but will also give people increased access to credit and bank loans. Mr. President, today every sixth person in the world is Indian. When Indians make progress, it also gives an impetus to the development of the world. When India grows, the world grows. When India reforms, the world transforms. The science and technology-based innovations taking place in India can make a big contribution to the world. The scalability of our tech solutions and their cost-effectiveness are both unparalleled. Over 3.5 billion transactions are taking place every month in India through our Unified Payment Interface, UPI. India's vaccine delivery platform, COVIN, offers digital support to register the administration of millions of vaccine doses in a single day. Mr. President, the India that puts into practice the principle of Seva Parmo Dharma, which means service is the highest religion, is today putting all efforts into vaccine development and manufacturing despite its limited resources. I would like to inform the UNGA that India has developed the world's first the world's first DNA vaccine and this vaccine can be administered to anyone above the age of 12 Another vaccine, an mRNA vaccine, is in the final stages of development. Indian scientists are also working on the development of a nasal vaccine for the coronavirus. Deeply conscious of its responsibility towards mankind, India has resumed the process of providing vaccines to those who need it in the world.